Hey everybody. As I have done with so many of my videos, I'm going to start with an apology. <laughs> Always good to start that way. Maybe you noticed I haven't uploaded many videos recently. Well, the primary reason for that is because my computer broke. It, it died. It just stopped working completely and became this unresponsive, useless thing. That was extraordinarily stressful. Uh, on top of all the other extraordinarily stressful things. It took a bit, but I did fix it, and now it's okay. But um, the last few days have basically been chaos because I, which brings us to the point of this video, am going to the United States to go to the world premiere of an extremely cool looking new film called American Satan. I, I first was like, I like the name. I like the name, that can only mean good things. <laughs> I'm not a Satanist, a lot of people think I am, I'm not. My spiritual beliefs are for another video. I have read the Satanic Bible. I haven't read like the Bible, but I've read the Satanic Bible. It's actually a very good book, actually a very intelligent and interesting read. But anyway, my life the last couple of weeks has just been pure stress. Pure stress and not knowing what's going on um, anyway. So yeah, I will be at the premiere of this film. Ah, I'm, I can't believe it. I can't wait. I'm, I can't believe I'm going. I don't really think excited is the word because I've kind of trained myself not to get too excited about things <laughs> since I was a child. Is that a bit sad? Is that a little bit Nietzsche? You might have heard of the film. The lead guy in it is Andy Bierzak from Black Veil Brides. Now, I'm not a Black Veil Brides fan, but I think that's pretty cool. I am looking forward to seeing how he turns out as an actor. We're going to have a look at the trailer. So we're going to have a look and see what's to be expected from this film that I'm going all the way to America just to see. American Satan. Uh, I guess it's the one with the 3.1 million views. Let's have a look shall we? Let's see what this film's all about. Sorry if it's a bit noisy in the background. It's, it's like raining today and there's cars going past a lot so you know what that's like. My not completely decorated iPad. So when you Sumerian make something big and Rolling Stone asks you, what do you want to change most in the world with the Relentless? What are you going to say? Finish the lyrics first. Oh. Five freaking days or we're living in LA. Do you believe in the devil? Molly Crew, Van Halen, Hell started here. Perception is not reality. Don't get caught inside the hollow wood. Hmm. And the boys on my left, they just arrived in town and hope to be the next big thing. Who the hell are you? You should. This is the guy from Game of Thrones. Hmm. There's like some really good actors in this. Heavy metal. You wear me on your sleeve, but your fans are dangerous and full of passion. If that was all real, they would never put it out in the open. The pyramid and the eye, do you know what that signifies? Illuminati. <laughs> Cool music. American Satan. That's hot. You will be loved. It's pretty hot. Despised. All your desires will be fulfilled. Uh, your puppet is free as long. I can't look at sexy things. He loves Doesn't feel right. Verdict is not guilty. Johnny, Matt, do you have a Matt. comment? God bless America. Mm. What about all the disturbing scenarios surrounding the bands? The duality of rock and roll. Sad. The only two things that touch people. Which is it's pretty sexy. Sex Careful what you ask for. This will turn into worse than 99. I guess this movie is R rated. You're going to do your part. But I have my own free will. We perform a ritual. I'm not sure I can do this. Oh. My son Johnny. <laughs> Your singer keeps mentioning the devil. This is just sensationalism. She's dark energy. Enough with the gimmick. You will keep coming back over and over. That's the spirit, Matt. Ah, uh, it looks so good. It looks so good. It looks so cool. I think this movie has all the stuff I like in it. Well. <laughs> For, for it to be like everything I like, it would have to be like a, you know, like a period film. It looks like it's going to have heavy music and occult stuff. Yeah. I am so, I can't wait to see it. I really want to see it. Kind of an indie film, so I don't know if it's going to be at every cinema. But it is going all over the world, so hopefully it will be screening wherever you are. It is R-rated. A lot of people have, like, written to me and said, oh, my parents won't let me go. I'm like, that's such a shame. I saw today this interview with a director uh, addressing the, the fact that, you know, people's 
parents won't let them go and explaining why they should. This is the official website here, americansatanmovie.com. And to the best of my belief, you can pre-order tickets there. Let's have a wee double check. And if you go here, there's a big list of locations and where you can get tickets. I believe you can pre-order your tickets. The USA, Mexico, Canada. Tickets for Canada coming soon. Tickets for Australia coming soon. Oh my way! Jonathan Davis from Corn wrote the score. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, it's going to be good. I know that the director is like a music guy, like he has a music label, so I feel like the music in this film is going to be really good. There is a really cool cast. There's a guy in it from Asking Alexandria. There's a guy in it from Twilight. You can't judge a movie just from its trailer, so I'm looking forward to seeing it. And maybe, maybe once I've seen it, maybe I'll write like a a review article on my website or something, would that be a good idea? Anyway, please, I would like it if you would send me all your positive energy and calming energy for my trip because I'm shitting myself. I'm gonna be honest, I'm very, very nervous. I haven't been on an airplane for a couple of years and this trip is going to involve six airplanes and I wasn't able to get any medication to keep myself calm, so I'm just gonna have to perform some mental gymnastics and try and keep cool. <laughs> so why don't you tell us in the comments if you would go see the movie, if that sounds like the sort of thing that's for you, and what you thought of the trailer. I really do think it looks promising. I think they've got some great actors. I know that that chap, what's his name, John? John Bradley from Game of Thrones. He's a really good actor. I'm, ex I'm pretty excited because I haven't, gra I graduated film school and I haven't really gone to any kind of film related events for ages apart from this press screening of Mother I went to recently, so I think it'll be really, really cool to be surrounded by um, filmmakers and interesting people. I'm going to Hollywood, baby! Yeah! Thank you very much for watching this trailer with me, and once again, yeah, sorry for the, the lack of videos slash lack of everything. It's been, it's been very challenging, and uh, yeah, so my computer is now working um but this last week has been crazy and this whole next week i'm going to be away so <laughs> bear with me here i'm doing my best and uh i already sort of talked about it on snapchat before anybody asks if i'm going to do like a meet and greet or something i honestly i i don't know i don't think i'm going to have very much free time it's really a flying visit i know that while i'm in la there definitely won't be time for a meet and greet unfortunately new york I'm there for like three days or something like it's it's not much time and I'm already kind of I've already kind of got plans if it's possible I'll keep you posted on like Instagram and Facebook and stuff but otherwise you know I will be back I will be back because I really really want to spend more time in the States I want to actually travel the whole country at some point so if I don't get to meet you this time there will be another opportunity for sure in the future I'll also link below to the original trailer so you can go watch it yourself and as always Take care of yourselves, be nice to each other, and I will see you next time.